Hey everyone, Horror Hottie here. Today I thought I'd share some of my favorite tattoos that I found across Instagram for the past month. I'm pretty passionate about tattoos, piercings, and body mods in general, so I thought I'd share with you the best of the best. Also, if you see me looking off to the side over here, it's because I have my computer right here where I am looking at all the Instagram tattoos, so just so you know. Okay, so we're gonna start off here with this tattoo from Brando Chiesa. And we are starting off with Pokemon tattoos this time, because I did make that Pokemon video uh, earlier this month, so do check it out in case you missed it. But anyways, back to the, ta the tattoo. This is Mew and Mewtwo and a couple other Pokemon. Actually, I think it's just Gengar. But Brando Chizia is one of the best tattoo artists that I've come across. His work is so good, and I love how detailed he'd made Mewtwo here. Okay, next up is Junkyard Rabbit, who made this Galarian version of Ponyta and then the standard version of Ponyta. These are definitely some of my favorite Pokemon, and especially the Galarian version, that's definitely probably in my top 10 if I were to guess. But I love how they did the sparkles, and they actually put both versions, which was really cool. Okay, this tattoo by Deadpan and Tattoo. I love when the designs incorporate the actual system that the game is played on. And here it is, this little Oshawa inside of a DS cartridge. I did have a DS growing up, so this is especially effective for me. Okay, another Galarian version of Ponyta. You can see I'm on a bit of a roll here. <laughs> I love the rainbow color palettes, and of course, if I see some of my favorite Pokemon, I am gonna save it. <laughs> This one by Deadpan, and again, you can probably tell I was stalking this tattoo artist page. But this time it is a Leafeon. Sylveon is my favorite evolution, but Leafeon is pretty cute too. All of the evolutions are cute, so can't go wrong there. And I love how they kept the green theme and had the potted plant. I love that. Okay, another one, same artist, but this time it's a Bulbasaur with a strawberry instead of the plant. I love that little twist of the design, but they're gonna eat him because they have the chopsticks grabbing around him. No! <laughs> okay, this dagger by Princess Peru. Same goddamn Pokemon. I am obsessed. And I'm not even specifically seeking out Glarian Ponytas, but they just find me. They know me. They know that I love them. <laughs> but I was I also love dagger designs, so this is like a two-in-one for me. Okay, this piece by Senku Tattoo. It is so pastel. It's a very muted pastel, but it does look very good. And it's just this plate full of great things, many different types of Pokemon. Okay, here is this one by Amelia Moore Tattoos. We have this very nice Oddish. I love how they made some of the leaves pink. Like, I don't know if you're big into plants, but real plants do sometimes have this pink variation to the leaves and it's pretty rare and sought after like um the pink princess plan is what comes to mind but that's cool that it was actually incorporated into an actual pokemon design okay this one by jessica penfold glaceon i don't know what it is with these ev evolutions looking so good in tattoo form but they do oh these little joy cons from deadpan and we got mimikyu and mesprit Mewtwo is my second favorite Pokemon right after Sylveon, so of course I love these. Next up, this piece by Justine Lucy. This one's kind of fucked up, but it's cute at the same time, so I love it. That poor magic carp. <laughs> I feel kind of bad showing you guys this one, but it's like a tattoo, so I had to add it in. This one by Silly Girl Tats. These bubbles and how they did that and you can still see the magic carp not the magic carp how you can still see the mud kip through the bubble and like the pastelness of the bubble that is so cute this piece by niora ink it is a cupcake with a little espion head at the top oh my god it's kind of fucked up i don't think it's an actual decapitated espion head but it must just be for like decorative purposes with the grape on its head so cute here is a macaron by Cordero Simona, and those eyes are looking kind of creepy. Kind of a creepy Jigglypuff. Dead eyes, fish eyes. But would I still eat that macaron? 
Yes, yes I would. Okay, here's this piece by Matthew Tiedres Tattoo. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but it's a Pokeball made of sushi. That looks very delicious. I wonder if he used a reference on this, because I could definitely see this in real life. Okay, this piece by Tattooist Yi An. Sorry. It is a Pikachu in the center of a band-aid. I also like the moon motif in the back with the stars and the hearts and the sparkles. So cute. This piece by Sin XOXO Tattoos. Cows are my favorite animal. Miltank is an okay Pokemon. I think they could have done a little better on the design. But I love how they put it as an actual milk carton, so it's like the brand. That's so cute. This dagger piece by Devin and again. This artist makes quite a few pieces like with the same format and they all look good. So definitely check out their page if you want to see more of that. But I love the heart pupils. There's always something I love. And this time it is Haunter themed. I almost said Gengar. <laughs> They have a master ball attached to that, so you know that's worth something. This piece by Princess Peru is a Mr. Mime themed lollipop. This one seems a bit too creepy for me to eat, but it is a very cute and clever design. Another one of these dagger pieces. This time it's Sylveon themed, that's the best one. I kind of want to just like rip this person size you off the body and put it on mine. <laughs> Another Sylveon by Deadpan and once again. I cannot leave this artist alone. I'm like harassing them. But a milkshake drink inspired by Sylveon. I would buy this and it would probably cost like $15, but I would still buy it anyways. Okay, this is by Crybaby Tattoo Products and it is, I forget the name of this Pokemon. El Creamy? That's what it says in the description. But they are dessert themed Pokemon. I know they're one of the newer ones. I'm more educated about like Gen 1 through 6? 1 through 5? Something like that. But it's like a strawberry shortcake and this makes me hungry. <laughs> this one is by Casey Tattoo. It's Mimi Q. Ah, number two in my heart. But um, I love the neon glow of the heart, it is so cute. Okay, this piece by Faku Bunny, um, a Dragonair surrounding itself around this like crystal, crystal holder. I don't know exactly what it is, but it looks amazing. Okay, I really love this style here. It's by Inky Sea Dragon, and it's not like clean straight lines, it's fuzzy lines. And I've never seen that until I've seen this artist's stuff, so I'm glad that I learned about that. It looks very cute. This piece by Inky C. Dragon again. I just wanted to show you guys more of this unique style of line work. And this one is of Jirachi. But it's just so interesting and unique. I love it. Oh my god, it's my two favorites by Tiggy Tattoos, Sylveon and Mimikyu. And wow, the colors are very, very vibrant in this piece. Okay, I love this furry, fuzzy version of Meowth. And this one is by Dorisu Tattoo, and it's really just the Meowth that I was looking at for this tattoo. And it's little toe beans, so cute. This piece by Tamagoth Chick, and one of my favorite artists for sure. This one is a dessert inspired by Rotom, and would I pay like $15 for this drink? Yes. And you know what, there's a dessert at the bottom too that's Pikachu themed, so definitely. Okay, that's all I have for the Pokemon tattoos. Now it's time to the general tattoos. This one is by I'm with a bunch of underscores cat. And this is so pastel. There's no line work. Well, no black line work. But it is so cute and tasty looking. I want to eat it. <laughs> okay, this piece by Breathing Rooms. It's a Rilakkuma themed pancake. Pancakes are one of my favorite desserts. I think I prefer waffles though, but this is still pretty good. And if you've watched any of the other videos in this series, you know how crazy I am about these little bears and their honey. Okay, this one again by Breathing Rooms. It's a transparent glass of strawberry milk. I love the real strawberries inside. It's very, very pink themed. There's only tiny bits of black in this and I love it. Okay, this piece by Breathing Rooms again. 
I thought it was a lighter. It's actually an eraser when I looked at the um, description. So that was stupid of me. But either way, very, very cute. Do any of you guys like collecting those little erasers? Like, I know they were really popular when I was in school, when I was younger. But I would buy them, but I didn't want to erase the cute you know, design of them, so I would just keep them and not use them. But then again, they weren't very good as erasers. Like, they wouldn't erase as well as a normal eraser. Okay, same artist here. It is some sort of sandwich with strawberries, and I don't know how healthy this would be, especially as a sandwich. Usually when I think of sandwiches, I think of, like, protein. But, you know what? I'd still eat it. <laughs> this one, same artist. This is very unique. It's the state of Texas shaped waffle. I'm not huge on Texas or anything American really, but I thought it was unique how they incorporated it into- It doesn't look like they're trying to represent Texas, it just looks like they love waffles, so that's a really subtle, cool idea. Okay, this piece by Princess Peru! Oh my god, she is my favorite artist when it comes to like pinup designs or just hot girls in general. I love how she draws the bodies, and this dress is giving Jessica Rabbit. Of course, she has the rabbit ears too, so that's what ma that's what's making me think about it. And uh, yeah, that's that. Next up by Ari Tattooer, a skull cocktail. I just love how they drew the skulls. That is so funny. This one by Senku Tattoo Zero Two. I never finished this anime. But I love this traditional clothing she's in, and there's a cute little cheapy version of her at the bottom. I rarely see that, so that's very intuitive and cool. This piece by Senku Tattoo, once again, it is an extremely, extremely pastel dagger. This is like the most baby pink, baby blue, little spurts of yellow in there. Very cute. This one by Moonstar Memoirs. Oh my god, this is definitely one of my favorites this month. And I don't know the actual name of this, but like these porcelain glasses do get repaired with gold filling and it makes for very cool designs and that's what they base this tattoo off of. So I really love that. This piece by Moonstar Memoirs once again. It's Honey from, um, what is this anime? Or in High School Host Club. This is another one that I didn't finish because it was getting too weird for me. That was... I think I started watching this when I was in like middle school though, so maybe I'll have to revisit it. You guys let me know if it's worth checking out. This one, oh my god, I love this design. It's just a flip phone, but the titties are just popping out. And um, yeah, I don't know who this character is or if it's an original character, but it's just very, very cute. This one, same artist, a pastel... I don't know what these sweets are called, but I really like them. This one, same artist, a strawberry milk carton, so cute. Okay, this one, finally, we're switching over to a new artist. It's by Cat No Name. I am gonna have to censor this one for the patrons. You can see it on there, but for YouTube, they're not gonna like me posting it uncensored, so check it out my Patreon if you wanna see it uncensored. But it is just this sexy girl with a split tongue like me. But, and I her out, so I love it. Very, very sexy. Okay, this one by Pat Fry Tattoo. It is this monster girl, very decora, very menhara. And it's very rare to see menhara tattoos, so I always appreciate seeing them. Okay, this tattoo by Candy Ink. It's just so professional looking. It just looks so well done. Like, this one amazed me. Except by Whitney Caskey Tattoos. It is a little tree stump. I wish it had color. This would look so good in color. But I love the little mushrooms growing out of the tree stump and the sprout growing out on top. This piece by Meguswala. It is an Alice inspired tattoo. And it's just such a particular art style. It reminds me of those like old RPGs, like um, I can't even think of any titles in specific, but like when I was younger I would play games that had this art style, so it's very nostalgic for me. This one by Milan Inks. It is a little black bubble-eyed goldfish. I had two of these when I was younger. And they're definitely my favorite fish. They're so funny and cute and I love how they look kind of chubby. <laughs> 
This one by Taddy Natty. Um, it's a little cutie baby. I always love the cutie tattoos. Also, did you know that there is a cutie doll that you can use to tattoo on for practice? Those are really cool. I want to get one of those. Not that I'm a tattoo artist or anything, but it would just be cool to have. This one by May Tattoos. It is a pushing on a little tree stump. It's Halloween themed. I love the little ghost coming out of the coffee or tea or whatever that is. This one by Amanda Grace Tattoo. It is the pink Power Ranger. The thing that stood out to me is how sparkly they made this. That looks amazing. Okay, this one by Kozumu. It is a Sudoku. Sadako. I probably pronounced her name wrong, I'm sorry. But she looks so slick here. She really got a makeover for this tattoo. Okay, this one by Kiki Ki Ki Tattoo. A Hello Kitty Band-Aid. This one's very unique to all the other Band-Aid tattoos that I've seen because she's actually like popping out. It's 3D. This one by Loveyoon.2. It is... I love when cats are humanized like this. Like when they wear human clothes. It's so funny and cute. This one's called the Bad Kitty Boy. <laughs> That's so funny. And he's like a... He's a bad cat. But I love his little fashion. He has the pierced ears and his actual cat ears. It's so cute. So yeah, I wouldn't want to be messing around with him. This one by Baby Bird Inc. I'm gonna just ignore whatever that liquid is on their fingers. But um, I love the rainbow coming out from the wrist, like, and the tattoo. That was very clever. This one by Veronica T Tokyo. It is the saddest little Hello Kitty I've ever seen. She's got the lashes, she's crying, her face is red, but it's still very cute. <laughs> This one by Princess Peru. You guys probably get why I love this artist so much. Like, she does the female body very well. But, um, this is a girl from Star Wars. I have never seen Star Wars, but I do want to watch it soon. This, this tattoo is influencing me. This is by Kulki underscore TT. And it's just a very elegant, beautiful black tattoo. It's actually a garter. Perfect placement, I love the color scheme, it's all purple, and it's just very well done. This one by Crybaby Tattoo Products, it is like one of those waffles wrapped up, and it's chromey and minority themed, my favorite girlfriends. <laughs> this is a little jellyfish one from Spongebob by Bailey Park, and it's captured in a glass jar. Very simple, but effective. <laughs> This one by Sammy Van Higgins. It is this uh, crying clown girl. You know what? I've been getting more and more into clown stuff lately. Like, upon first glance, you'd think, ew, clowns are gross and scary, but it's actually an art form. This one by Genevieve featuring Tattoo. It is a new girl and a couple new girls. Clever wordplay there. But she is looking fine. She's fully covered, so I won't have her censored, luckily. But, um, I love her hairstyle. She's looking very vintage. This one by Tattooist Sigak. It is a terrarium, and there's like a waterfall flowing out of it. This just looks very elegant and beautiful. This one by Alex Poison. A snake wraps around the crystal. Now, the snake seems very realistic, as opposed to the crystal's, like, realistic style. So I wish the snake was a little bit more cartoony. Um, snakes are a little bit scary, so I prefer them in more of a cartoon form. But it's still good. Next up by Perrin Tattoo. It is just a very nice, simple, it looks like a kid's drawing almost, but it looks professionally done, of course. It's just so simple. It has like a very vibrant color palette. I f the thing about it though is I think that sky and those co clouds aren't gonna hold up very well, but the rest of it is very nice. By Laura Anunukai. It is a Sakura from Naruto. I love her flip phone. I just love that flip phone nostalgia. I have a flip phone. I'm filming on my flip phone actually. I have a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5G. This one by Bean Paws. It is a paintbrush from Neopets. I had to really look and dig into my memory for a bit to make sure that it's actually the Neopets um, brush. But yeah, what were you guys' favorite um, brushes that you like to use on your Neopets when you were younger? Like the fairy brush. That's one that comes to mind. 
this one by holly pop ink lollipop that is shaped like a heart very simple oh I, I also just noticed a little star next to that lollipop from care bears i love that i have a good sleeve going on this one by ox poison i love the detail on this i love that hat i, I want that hat i want to wear that hat <laughs> but this is titled the full moon queen and I love the shapes going on here. We have a triangle in the back, like the curve of the hat. This is just overall an excellent piece. This one by Rosie Cole Inc. It is a pastel seahorse is what they call it. I don't know if that's the actual name of it. Yeah, yeah, it's a seahorse. And you know, fun fact about seahorses, the males are the ones who give birth in their um, species. So that's really cool. I wish. Wish humans were like that, but unfortunately not. <laughs> Women have to bear the pain. This piece by the same artist. It is a monochromatic pigeon. Yeah, it's a pigeon. All pink. And it's unique. I definitely prefer like monochromatic rainbow or like any color than as opposed to just black. Like this is interesting. It, this one by Hannah Rose Tattoo, a little frog with spotted hearts on it. That is so cute. I love it, the little toes, they're pink with this purple body. This one by Ango underscore TT, it is a Hello Kitty ice cream that is melting. I like the line work for this one. It's like, it's not perfect, but it's not meant to be. This one by Green Vesper, it's this girl eating tentacles. I have actually eaten octopus before and it's not that great. It's kind of average, kind of generic, but this girl is so great. I love her little band-aid. It seems to be like a real Kuma band-aid. She has the different colored eyes. It just looks so nice. And it's a full half sleeve too. That's really impressive. This one by Creepy Tattoo. Two little demon cats. You know what? Some cats can definitely be demons. I've had cats my whole life, and some I've definitely liked more than others. Not to be a hater. <laughs> this one by loveyoon.2. It is cat bus in a very, very cute style. Very fluffy. I love the chubby cheeks. There's also soot sprites. And you know the great thing about the cat bus is it has multiple limbs. Like it has six, and so that just means extra toe beans. <laughs> This one by Pat Fry Tattoo. It is this just totally alternative rainbow style girl. I love the teeth especially. That's my favorite thing about this. And the slushy. I, I didn't notice that when I saved this tattoo. But that is so cool. This one by Silly Girl Tats. It is a ramen bowl. And it just has a blue and white color palette. Which is one of the rarer color palettes that I don't see so often. This one by Sammy Van Higgins. It is... I could have swore, don't I have this one saved already? But another clown girl? Okay. Okay. Two clown girls this time. This one by Inky Sea Dragon. It is a cute little dog with chubby cheeks and pink cherry blossoms in the background. This one by Princess Pearl. Man, I was really on this clown shit, huh? <laughs> but it's just a clown with gigantic boobs. Very sexy. <laughs> Okay, this one by Sadie Glover. It is just fries wrapped up in a newspaper. And I don't know why this one really stood out to me, but I like it. I like the shape it has going on. This one by Crybaby Tattoo Products. It is this cake with a slice taken out of it on a cake platter. I need to invest in one of these. This one by Janine Tattoos. It is a little snail that looks like a cow and it even has the cowbell. Like I said, cows are my favorite animal, so I love anything crossed over with them. Now this piece, very spicy, it is... <laughs> that's funny, they titled it Edgar Allan Ho. I see what you did there. But I love shibari and I love the color scheme. Everything about this is just great. I'm not like a simp for Edgar Allan Poe or anything, but very well done tattoo. Okay, this sexy piece by Tattoos by Olive. I like the wine glass touch, and my favorite part about this is the thighs. I'm very predictable. 
This one by Ashita Tattoo. It's a couple's piece. I don't think I've ever seen a better couple's tattoo. I really like this. And they have the different um, shapes for the background. One is a heart, one is a, what is that? Just like a, I was gonna say spear, it's not a spear. I don't even know. Square. <laughs> Rhombus, I don't know. <laughs> this one by Glen Coco Tattoo. It is a little broccoli. I love broccoli, especially with macaroni and cheese. That's how I eat broccoli. I boil it and then I put it in the macaroni and cheese. This piece, same artist, it is, I don't even know. All I know is that it looks good and I want to eat it. This one by Silly Girl Tats. It is so cute. I love the sea theme. It looks amazing. The blue and tan sandy color palette adds to this. Okay, this one by Damiko Tattoo. Um, it's just this very, very psychedelic looking uh, lamp, lantern with a candle inside. Very trippy. This one by VY. It, her name is Rebecca? I don't know who this is. Oh yeah, she's from Cyberpunk, yeah. I have seen this character before in edits. <laughs> or like somewhere on TikTok, but yeah. This one by Chibi X Visa. It is a slime girl. She's all pink. I love her color scheme. And, um, yeah, not much to say about her other than I love slime girls and slime characters in general. Okay, this is one by Tamagoth Chick Denji. And I love how they, like, yassified him here. <laughs> He's very decora. I love it. I love how they made his teeth here. Very well done. This one by Crybaby Tattoo Products. It is this little heart with a face inside that's crying. It's all monochromatic blue. I love it. This one by Genevieve Tattoo. It is this sexy new girl on a very delicious treat. And you know, I love the combination of, you know, sexy girls and things good enough to eat. <laughs> this one by Jenna Kerr Tattoo. It is a mermaid. I love the details on the shells on the crown and all those little pearls. That must have been so tedious and took so much time. But I'm very happy that this artist went through with it because it looks so good. Okay, finally we're going to end this off with some piercings. So this one I have had saved for a long ass time and I want to get something like this done. Because it's technically one piercing but the little chain I on with the gem makes it look like it's a whole nother piercing too. Okay, this one, it is a conch, but it's pierced three times. As you can see, I don't have any ear piercings yet. I have like 26 piercings or so, but I haven't I haven't done my ears once yet, not even as a baby. But that's gonna be on my to-do list for sure. And I love this. The only thing is I, I can't decide if I want the three conches or the one conch, because I want to put like some sort of ring connecting it to the back. But I don't know, this looks really good. This one, it is by Maria Tash. Very, very good if you're looking to get into piercings. She's like the best of the best in terms of jewelry. But the thing that caught my eye about this is this um, hoop piercing. It's actually two piercings that's connecting it. So it has to be measured perfectly. And then there's also another piercing in the middle there. So that's three holes. And um, it looks like two piercings. But it, I love how it makes the X. That is... I'm taking notes on that one. Okay, this one, this is what I was talking about earlier about the conch. Like, that is also a very, very big piece of jewelry that would take up all three spots. But I love how it, you know, it keeps that nice jewelry for the conch, but it also has that ring wrapping around. This one is this, um, date piercing, and there's two of them. And I love how they chose the hoop jewelry, like one littler and one bigger, and it just amazing very balanced this one and I love how creative this is it's the two piercings they're holding this chain that has this beautiful stud hanging down <sighs> I love looking at piercings on Instagram to get inspired <laughs> this one I just chose this one for the jewelry it's a little animal crossing leaf that is so cute yeah, this one is so fully decked out, but it doesn't look like the typical alternative person. It looks very glam. This looks like an actual, like, very, very rich person. Like, 
I could see Rihanna wearing this or something. Okay, this, it is just a straight line. It looks so good. I like how they kept it all with silver jewelry and it's very symmetrical. It looks so well done. Okay, this one. I'm not the hugest fan of like these snake bites, I'm pretty sure is what they're called, but this made me like them way more. Like they have the double snake bites there and this is my first time seeing that. So I thought that was really cool. Okay, this is gonna be the last piercing I show off for this video, but it is, it incorporates itself with the tattoo nicely. Cause as you can see, they have the spider web tattoo on their face right here. And then they have this um, little gold spider jewelry. So that, it, I just love how it's incorporated itself into the tattoo as well. Well, what do you think of the video? If you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell for more content. If you'd like to support my content financially, please consider becoming a patron as I have tiers starting as low as $2 a month. I even have Patreon exclusive content up right now. Uh, the uncensored version of this is going to be put up on Patreon, so do check that out if you're interested. Uh, there's also a link in the description for more info on exclusive perks. Until next time, mwah!